starting with makeup, I'm starting with a fresh face and the first thing I'm doing is applying a primer to my face. For foundation, I like a more light one, so I'm using this one by L'Oreal and I'm just going to blend that in with my hands. Next, I'm using concealer and I'm just going to put this on any blemishes I have and also in a triangle shape under my eyes to brighten my under eyes. Now I'm setting all of that with a matte powder and just applying that all over my face. I'm then applying a dusty rose colored blush to my cheekbones. And then contouring my face with a matte bronzer and I'm just going on my cheekbones, a little on the temple of my forehead and then kind of like under my chin area a little bit and then on my forehead and then I'm blending that all out with a big fluffy brush. For my highlight, I just took two white eyeshadows and these ones are from the Naked Basics and then I just took a fan brush and highlighted my face with that and next I'm going to be filling in my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow. And then I'm just using an angled brush to fill in my brows and I'm just kind of doing like the sparse like places because I normally don't do this and that's all for my brows. Now moving on to eyeshadow, after I put a primer on, I'm going to apply a taupe color and put that all over in my crease um, and then just blend it so it's really soft and then take a brown color and put that in my crease kind of sharply. And then I'm taking my white NYX eyeshadow base and I'm putting that right directly on my eyelid where there's no eyeshadow. And then I'm taking this glitter from Wet n Wild and patting that on top of the base after I've blended the base in. And that's my eyeshadow. And then I just took a liquid liner and lined my eyes slightly because I'm gonna be applying false lashes and these ones are the natural ones from Ardell and the, they looked really, really good. So um, all I did after that was just apply two different mascaras and kind of like so they mixed with my natural lashes and it ended up looking really good. And if you want, you can apply liner over this again, but I just chose to stick with that. <laughs> Then for my lips, I just chose this um, really mauve like dark pink color and applied that. And then I took a Tarte Lip Surgeon's lip gloss in the same color and just put that on top of my lips and my makeup look was complete. For my hair, I just did a really simple, easy look. So I started off with my natural hair and then I sprayed some heat protectant on it and this one's from GHD. And then I sectioned it off into two parts and just took my Numi 5-in-1 one inch curling wand and I used that just to like loosely curl. I only showed a couple pieces because it's super, super easy. I just curled all my hair like that and then just kind of shook it out so it was in like loose waves and that's what it ended up looking like. I ran out of time because we had to leave, but here's my dress, and it's from BB, and you can see, like, my full look in all these pictures. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys had a wonderful homecoming if you went, and I'll see you next week. I love you all. Bye. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. I've, I've fallen at every dance I've ever gone to. Every school dance and every hot party dance. It's destined to happen, so I'm just going to brace myself for it. You have to accept what you can't change to take a moment to appreciate this brow. It's perfect. It's perfect. At look at it, take a ruler and look at it because it's perfect. Mm -hmm.